City life is not for everyone, I agree with that. Some people can't bear it, it's too oppressive, too claustrophobic. But I've lived all my life in the city and I, I, I tend to love it. I studied at Campbell Hill, local art school, and then after that I went to the Royal College for a couple of years. I've been working for 40 odd years now, 42 years or so. The b &L project is an abstract interpretation of the, my history of looking at the, the, the skyline of London. When I was very young, um, we uh, moved into a, the tallest building for, for miles around. It was a, a, a new designed estate, pretty much based on Corbusier's structure of uh, the communal living. The hardness and crispness and the, the geometry of my living environment when I was small has certainly affected uh, ways I look at and think about my work in the current day. You, you're never happy when you're throwing a pot. Every time it's new, it's fresh, it's alive, and the, the clay itself has its own limitations, which you then work with. I hopefully always giving the object I'm making some sort of life and some sort of vigour and some sort of energy. What I'm aiming for now is more subtlety within the pieces and perhaps not everyone will, will see them but I know they're there because I've, I've put them there. It's just a beautiful material from fine fine porcelain to the roughest textured crank. I love it. <laughs>